So this is what we're working with here. Uh, the customer says that on this Western hauler upfitted uh, transfer pump, there's a auxiliary tank here in the back. And it's got a sending unit there that has lines that go down to the bottom of the truck. And inside the truck here, it's got a fuel gauge. And then this is the on off for it. You turn this on and with the truck having almost a full tank of fuel, this will run for about four to five seconds and it will time out and it will shut off. That's because this system is designed for that fuel gauge there it needs to be less than a half a tank and this needs to be left in the on position the system will detect whenever the main tank drops below a half a tank and it will turn back on and it will fill the main tank back up to three quarters of a tank now this is a bad time to bring the vehicle into the dealership to have it diagnosed because I just got off the phone with Scott from Western hauler and he was walking me through the diagnostic process and he said well when you turn it on now does, the, does fuel come out of the pump? I said, well, yes, it does. He said, so, so the pump's working. He said, what's your main fuel at? I said, it's over three quarter. He said, well, there's the first problem. The light's coming on. It's timing out. It's doing everything that it's supposed to. Pump's pumping fuel. But if you got a half a tank or more, the system won't continue to run. It needs to see less than a half a tank, and it will fill the vehicle up to about three quarter tank, and it'll shut back off. And you, when you drive, you leave the, the, the switch in the on position so it can monitor everything. So I'm going to have to put everything back together, clean everything up, send the customer on their way, and tell them to leave the switch in the on position. You don't decide when it fills up. You actually leave it so it can keep everything full for you at a predetermined uh, amount. And he also specified that whenever you turn the switch on, and fuel is running you should hear a little check valve spring in the top of that sending unit assembly on the top of the auxiliary tank you should hear it kind of rattling around and if it's bad a lot of times that check ball assembly in the top of that system in there goes bad and then it can't pull fuel but since it's pumping fuel it's working perfectly fine a lot of people think that they could just turn that switch on and it's just made to continually run and that's not how it works you actually turn it on and you let it stay in the on position as the truck's running once it drops below a half a tank it'll fill it back up on its own so i'm going to climb under there i'll show you what the pump looks like real quick so you guys can uh see maybe something that you haven't seen before maybe you find this video interesting and then i'll have to send the customer back on their way with it the whole reason why it's here is they said the fuel dropped below in the main tank and it system never kicked on like it was supposed to well when i'm looking at it now can't do much diagnostic if it's over three quarter tank because everything's functioning fine but while i'm looking at it right now in the system in the way that it's operating it's operating normal i need this vehicle back less than a half a tank so i can make sure everything's functioning properly but they said they actually broke down had to have the vehicle towed to the nearest fuel station because the main the auxiliary pump auxiliary tank wasn't transferring like it was supposed to i can't do anything if the vehicle is above a half a tank which is almost full right now because that leaves it to where i can't diagnose that the pump's actually functioning properly so unfortunately i'm gonna have to say i'm gonna have to educate the customer on how the system works and then i'm gonna have to send it out of here probably get no pay for it until it comes back and then re-diagnose everything all over again So here's the line coming from the tank up there. Here's the fuel pump, there's a fuel filter, there's the pump itself. There's the main fuel line going up in there and I pulled the return line off so I can see what comes back out of that little nipple. There's a secondary nipple up there. There's a return line. And it turns on, it primes, and it's back down. And he said, well, you do know that there's actually sensing wires that will run back up to the front of the fuel system, right? It goes all the way back and it actually it can actually see where the the main fuel gauge is and it won't let it continually run until it gets under a half a tank so he said you're going to want to hook everything back up then ask the customer to bring the truck back when it's less than a half a tank okay